Our focus to some breaking news that's coming in right now. India Alliance MPs are now meeting with the delegation members who have returned from Manipur. These MPs are now briefing the opposition MPs on the ground situation and the victim testimonies. This, remember, opposition MPs, the delegation had been to Manipur over the weekend. They spent two days there, met with the governor as well and uh, gathered information from victims at relief camps. This is the meeting that's going on between opposition MPs and the delegation that arrived from Manipur. Remember, a delegation of opposition MPs was in Manipur trying to assess the situation, understand what's going on on ground, alleging that the government had not given them any information and therefore they had to themselves go on the ground, look at the situation, try and understand what can be done. For more on this, on the phone line, we've got our colleague Samia. Samia, clearly there, opposition now planning to up the ante against the government in the parliament over Manipur. And the fact that they've spoken to the victims themselves, they'll have some really key points to make on the floor of the house. Well, absolutely. But it all depends upon the Speaker of the Lok Sabha and the Chairman of the Rajya Sabha, whether they are going to allow any time for the India Alliance MPs to make a statement on record, because their demands are very clear. As far as the Rajya Sabha is concerned, they want a discussion under Rule 267, which is the suspending all the business of the day. And the Prime Minister should be the one making the, uh, initiating the discussion on the Manipur matter. But now, since the delegation of 21 MPs from the India Alliance partners have gone to Manipur, they have seen the ground reality, they have spoken to the victims of the violence for the last two months. They have a lot more to bring to the table and they would want the House to listen to it. And that's the reason why right now there is a meeting underway with all the top leaders of the of opposition parties who are all sitting in a meeting hearing uh, what the opposition party MPs, the delegation of the MPs had to say as they're briefing the opposition parties about the situation on ground in Manipur, which they feel is a far cry from what the government is trying to paint over here in the national capital. But it all boils down to the strategy that they are going to try and have over here. The meeting is underway. 10.30, there's another meeting of the Congress Lok Sabha MPs uh, to try and rebuild their low strategy to try and corner the government and get a time for the Speaker to be able to make a statement in the House. So we have to wait and see how the day progresses and how much of an outreach is the government of the day also willing to do because uh, they definitely feel is that this is an entire photo op and a sham by the opposition party leaders of going to Manipur. If they're serious about it, they would let the House function and allow the discussion on it, irrespective of whether the Home Minister making a statement or the Prime Minister. Well, absolutely, Samia. Thanks a lot for getting us all of that information. It'll be very interesting to see how the opposition strategy pans out after their Manipur visit, given the fact that they now have a clearer idea of what's going on in Manipur, which they earlier claimed the government was trying to hide.